Together with you, we are learning to care for an ant farm. After all, observing the life of ants is a very interesting and fascinating activity. It's time for us to continue our experiments. Hello, it's Lab Rats, and we are getting started. If you watched the last video about our ants, you know that some of them were able to escape from the farm. So that it does not happen again, we decided to try a new remedy against breakouts. This is the substance that needs to be applied on the edges of the arena. The main requirement for the application is to keep the lid should stay open after it's applied. We thoroughly coat the entire upper perimeter of the arena. Now it is supposed to effectively stop ants from running away and meanwhile we watch how well it functions. Remember cleaning up using slime? They did it again. They have dumped all the rubbish in the same place. Today we will clean using a brush and a small scoop. Sweep the trash into the scoop with a brush as if with a small broom. Now let's try out this USB keyboard vacuum cleaner. Let's vacuum the remaining trash in. It is much faster and more convenient than a brush or a slime. But there is one problem. A large amount of sand got sucked in along with garbage. The cleaning is over for today. And life in an ant farm goes on. Pay close attention to water droplets. This is due to condensation. As we said, once every few days the farm needs to be humidified. This makes recording videos more difficult. But ants must drink, and that's the way they do it. In the last video about ants, we were figuring out what they most like to eat. Today, we will find out what they enjoy the most from vegetables and fruits. The first will be a slice of cucumber. One ant ran past it and he decided to look at the cucumber more closely. But he did not begin to drag inside the anthill. Okay, try a piece of lettuce. Ants clearly notice the proposed vegetables, but no enthusiasm is at sight. Are seeds that much tastier than vegetables? Let's try a slice of tomato. Check this out. One ant became interested in a tomato. He examined it for a long time. And then he just ran away. We chopped an entire vegetable salad for them, but they don't want to eat it. Maybe they will not touch it until we add mayonnaise. Perhaps we should leave the ants and vegetables alone for now. The next morning, vegetables were no longer on the stone. By the way, let's remove the DIY water giver, since the ants have started putting garbage in it. It is no longer needed. We found a dried piece of lettuce in the middle of the arena, but they brought the dried tomato and cucumber inside and munched on it. Ants have split the tomato into several pieces and ate it. And the cucumber is lying in the warehouse. A few days later we decided to give the ants something sweet. For starters, it will be a piece of strawberry. But to my great surprise, the ants do not react to the berry at all. Maybe they would like an apple or a pear. We put a piece of each inside. Several ants crawl nearby, but they do not even want to try what they were offered. Our ants definitely don't like fresh vegetables. Maybe they want to dry out the fruit first, and only then eat it. The next day we found a piece of pear in a landfill. They did not like the pear at all. Strawberries also remain in their place. However, they have brought a piece of apple inside and have already eaten half. When ants don't live in a closed farm, but in nature, they can search for and choose for themselves the necessary foods for their very diet. Good nutrition for a home ant farm is not an easy task. Therefore, it is sometimes important to give vegetables, fruits and protein. The most important thing is to give them in small portions, then the food will not go bad. 
In order for the colony not to die, it is important to be very responsible for their nutrition. Do not forget to press the like button if you enjoyed this video and check if you are subscribed to our channel because only the most unusual and interesting experiments are ahead. See you in the new videos. Take care.